<laughs> Good morning everybody! It is Single here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing super 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 duper duper well. I was gonna change out of this shirt because I was like, oh, maybe I should not film in it, but then I was like, um, heck no. I'm totally keeping this shirt on. This shirt is from my best friend, Vanessa. She sent it to me for Christmas. Well, she sent it to Jack for Christmas, but I've adopted it as my own. So, <laughs> hello Hippo. Good morning to you too. Also, this mug though is like made for lefties. How freaking cool is that? Anyway, subject at hand. I got a blanket for Christmas from my mom. This blanket is from Magnolia Home Company, which is like Chip and JoJo's interior design home line. Super, super duper obsessed and I've never owned anything from this line. This is the culprit right here, the Magnolia Home throw blanket. It goes perfectly on my couch. I'm so obsessed with it, but it sparked something huge. I got inspired just from owning this one blanket to be like, I want my entire apartment to feel like Magnolia Home Company. But not like specifically Magnolia Home Company, just like that feel of like industrial chic, farm chic like type of thing. I'm shocked I haven't refreshed the apartment sooner. I still have so many items left over from like three years ago when we moved into our first apartment back in Connecticut. I've realized I've been trying to like make them work, you know, but I think it's time for a refresh. And so I still have a bunch of gift cards from like our wedding, like my bridal shower and Christmas now and like all this stuff. So I had this plan inspired by this Magnolia blanket, this culprit right here. I want to go around shopping today for a slight refresh of our apartment, not a complete overhaul like demo day type of situation, but just a few more items to like refresh the decor. I'll do like a before and after video at some point, but if I was going to go around getting inspiration from things and showing you how I pick my home decor out, why don't I just take you guys along with me? So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I've been thinking. I've been up for some time now thinking about like what I wanted to do to refresh some things I've already like put things in certain places but because honestly the best thing to do when you're like shopping for home decor and stuff is to have a list to keep you on track because you can get into these home decor like shops and stuff and get completely off track so I have a list going and let me show you guys what I'm thinking so the first thing that I'm thinking is probably a comforter from home goods they have like the best prices and honestly right now our bed is just like a disheveled mess it's got like no flow to it. It has like three different blankets on it right now and I feel like a comforter would just really bring this bed together and start my inspiration on our bedroom in general. <laughs> and then possibly in Home Goods or West Elm where we have like a gift card, I want kind of a mirror, like a circular mirror for this coffee table here to replace this brown basket, I feel like a mirror or some sort of gold type of thing, tray type of thing would like really nice there and then I can put a bunch of like chic and trendy things like maybe that candle in there just to simplify it up. Over here I've been working on some stuff this morning. I really like this simple white glass type of look. I feel like it looks really, really nice and fresh but the bottom could use some work. So I think I'm gonna get three identical baskets to put stuff in, including the stuff that's in there, some books. I just feel, feel like it'll bring this like whole thing together. Oh hi Jack Jack. <laughs> Don't worry Jack Jack, I'm not gonna get rid of you for my apartment refresh. Excellent. Okay, cool. You no, know, because I can be refreshing. Yeah, for I know. Your apartment. Yeah, like you need to stay. So I've also been at it with the coffee table. I usually go for like a ton of like small random things for like, this is, sorry, this is the kitchen table, not the coffee table. I've already gone like kind of on it a little bit this morning, but I feel like I'm always trying to do a lot of like big items on this table to like fill it up. But honestly, I found some like inspiration on Pinterest this morning where they just had one, two, three things. So I think what I'm gonna do is keep this marble thing, which has an S on it for our last name. I'm gonna keep Hippo too in the apartment. She's really cute. And then I'm gonna have these things. If I see anything that speaks to me to like put on there, but I'm just gonna try to keep it simple for that table as well. And then let's see, the other things that we've got on the list are maybe a bed throw from Home Goods. The bed throw could also come from West Elm depending on what we find. And then at Target, I definitely want a bed pillow and maybe a living room pillow for the couch over there just to get some stuff from their 
their Magnolia line just because I have a gift card at Target and that would be really cool to have those things. Then this is the big one. On Wayfair, I found that they are doing their end of year like winter or like New Year's sale type of thing. And I will show you guys in just a second, but this TV area has been a pain in our butt. We have not been able to like, it's just like a like go-to for all of like the items where we don't know where to put them type of situation. I haven't even hung anything above the TV or anything, but let me show you my plan. All right, so when you're in the kitchen and looking out into the living room, you've got, this is like the dining room table type of situation. This is like our couch, coffee table, cat, tree, which is a disheveled mess right now. Just a bunch of random stuff we didn't know what to do with. Here is our TV, and then here is our chair that we got in Stanford, Connecticut, and it came with us. So I'm thinking, bear with me here. We don't need this chair anymore. No one sits in it. And honestly, it's seen better days. Welcome to the life of owning two cats. <laughs> and so that can go. No one sits in it, we don't use it. That cat tree has also seen better days. And honestly, it's just this like huge room type of eyesore. It's just like completely down to like this. We've had it for a couple years now. Everything is broken. It's just not working. So we are going to get rid of that cat tree or donate it. But if we get rid of that thing, get rid of this thing, it does open up the living room quite a bit. And then this situation right here, this random situation. So this will stay. We're going to take that table and that lamp, move it there. We're gonna we're gonna declutter all of this stuff, put it in storage, it's gonna be free space, okay? In that space, we're gonna take off that wall thing, declutter that, remember the chair will be gone. We're gonna put just this bookcase, it'll go around that area. We're gonna put a bookshelf, put a bunch of like really fun things in there, like books and knickknacks and stuff like that to like brighten up the space. And then here, where we have the table and the lamp, we'll put this thing above here, flesh with the bookshelf so it'll be really nice to the eye. And then in the middle, when we have all that stuff all set up, I'm gonna put three like eight by 10 prints of our wedding or something like that, I'm thinking. So that is like the long-term plan, but again, today, we're just gonna go around and see what we can find for home decor and all the different places you guys can see how I get my inspiration from certain areas and how I keep on track with what I'm hoping for for the apartment, and yeah. Let's get showered and we'll be on our way. Alrighty guys, so I've got my makeup on. I've got my outfit of the day. This little sweater from Madewell in that millennial pink that I love. I've got some Levi's and Chuck E. D's. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta grab all my gift cards. I'll make sure to grab those. And then I think the first place that we're gonna go is Target to get those pillows I was talking about and just some inspiration from that Magnolia line um, for all the other places that I have gift cards to. So let's get in the car and get started. So what I wanted to do was be all pro and like set you guys up in my car, but when I got down to my car, someone was blocking it, so I just had to like move really quick and get out as soon as I could be unblocked. But I just realized that I have some bags in the back of clothes that Jack and I are donating. We got back from Christmas and realized that our closets are just insanely full, and so I'm gonna drop them off at Goodwill and then we will be on our way to Target. So this is the day of being blocked anywhere I go. Look at that. Through there is where I needed to drop the clothes. And now I need to see if I can squeeze. I should be fine. I'll just go that way. But yeah, that was quite unfortunate. I like went into a spot and the trash guy like looked at me and said, no, get out of here. And I was like, frick. All right, officially let's go to Target. <laughs> getting rid of that yellow chair. I'm thinking that we could put like a pillow there so it's not like a full chair and you'll go in front of the bookshelf. That's what I'm thinking. And then also, I think I found the tray and I really, really like it. And I can always return it if I find something different, but for the coffee table. 
I just think that is so cute and I think they both go together so well. So I ended up getting those two things that I was showing you guys in the store. I was talking kind of quietly because it's like weird to vlog in public honestly and like people were already staring at me but it's fine. I ended up getting that pillow. You can see the stripes there. I ended up getting that because since we're getting rid of that yellow chair I figure we can put like a, a floor pillow on there and I think it's really cool and it's like different and it won't block the bookshelf that will like go there eventually so I'm really excited about that and then I found like this wood slash like um, copper type of middle thing to like put in the middle of the table it's circle like I wanted I was looking for something circular rather than rectangular and not just like a basket so I'm really pumped about that I'm keeping all the receipts just in case just in case like I find anything at any of the other stores because that's kind of the difficult thing about like shopping and like going to different stores is you might like love something and get it and then find something even better somewhere else so I'm keeping everything just in case but that was a really really good first stop and I got some inspiration I took some pictures on my phone of things to like look out for in home goods that might be cheaper over there but I've never owned any of the like Magnolia Target type of stuff so that was really fun I got my first few things and they went really well together so I'm all inspired and let's see what the next store will be so there's actually a West Elm over where the home goods is around here so that works out perfectly so I'm gonna head over to West Elm first I have a gift card there and then I'll head over to home goods so I'm so birth so we're super excited. Alrighty, through a series of stressful events, I have found parking in Bellevue where I am right now and it's near West Elm so this will be my very first time going into West Elm I'm really excited it looks a little dangerous I know West Elm is a little pricey but I do have a gift card there so I'm pumped about that so I'm really looking for maybe like a bed throw here or something to put on the coffee table in that little like circle ring thing and also if I find a better circle ring thing to put in the coffee table like in the middle of the coffee table I'll, I can always like return the one that I got at Target for that one. I don't know, it's like my first time. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'm gonna try to stick to like my list of things that like I'm trying to look for at different places. We'll see, you never know until you get inside. So let's go ahead and do that. One eternity later. Oh, hello. Long time no talk. Since we last spoke, I just got out of West Elm and I was feeling really slumpy. So I went and I got myself a coffee. I'm sitting in the Safeway parking lot right now. And oh my God. Oh, you guys, West Elm was so large and in charge. Like there was so much to see but it was like nice and organized so it wasn't so overwhelming but I just took my time and walked through and they had like a bunch of winter sales going on so I actually got some pretty good deals again was very impressed with my self-control I only got two things from there and both were kind of like on my list let me show you what I got one of them oh they packaged it up so nicely I honestly don't know how I'm gonna like package it up exactly like they did before but one thing that I got was this little pot. It's got like, it's white ceramic. It's got speckles and then the natural clay, it seems like, is down here. And this is something that I saw in Target. Like they, it was very like clay and then with like white paint on top with the magnolia line so I kept that in mind for the next time I go somewhere where I had a gift card this was originally $16 and then I got it on sale for $9.99 and then it was like another 20% off of that so I was really happy because with a place like West Elm everything is so pricey that if you can find really good sales it like feels really good next thing that I got I was so excited about I got this like pinky mauvey type of millennial pink you can see it's like one of my favorite colors throw blanket and I love this I was thinking since I'm going to get a white comforter probably at home goods this could go at the end of the bed so I really did stay on task so far and the last things on the list really are the comforter three baskets for under my green table and like a new living room pillow and a new pillow for the bed I'm thinking just like a white with black black accents on it or something very basic because that's the mood I'm going for. All right, let's head over to Home Goods before they close because it is New Year's Eve and things are closing around five or so and it's about three o'clock. So let's hit it. How'd you 
you've been talking about me lately? Blue Rojas, when it wasn't you, I'm You said it was over. But you said it was over. But you said it was over. So I got a couple of off white pillows. This one has like cool designs on it. I don't know if you see. I think that would look really good on the chair that we have at the end of the kitchen table, you know? So we'll see. And then I couldn't resist. I got this super fluffy pillow. It's got like some zigzag designs on it. I thought it was really simple, but again, these are both like off-white, so I think it'll go good with our like minimalist theme. trying to look for a comforter that doesn't have like a pattern on it. I want just like a plain white one. Let's see if we can find one. No, see there's still like dots on it. Oh, we're looking for a queen. Queen. Hmm. Looks good. It's plain white. Ooh, it's Calvin Klein. That looks good. Resilent Lofty Down Alternative Fiber Fill, 100% pure cotton, 10 year limited warranty machine wash. That sounds good. That sounds really good. I'm gonna grab this one. Yay! I feel like I should have got a bigger cart, but hopefully this will make it so I don't buy more than I should at this store. All right, let's find three baskets to put under that green table that I have. Oh! Oh my gosh. All right, picking out the baskets was definitely the more stressful part, but what's stressful about picking out home decor though? It's just so exciting anyway. I ended up getting the comforter that you guys saw. I got those two pillows that you guys saw, the like fluffy one with like the zigzags in it. Baskets that I ended up getting for under that green thing look like this. They're all cotton. They're all in three different sizes. So there's a big one, a medium one, and a small one. I think they'll look really good like stacked. And they can hold a bunch of stuff. I can put blankets in there, all of that fun stuff. So definitely came in under budget compared to like all of the gift cards that we had. So I'm super excited. I'm not gonna show you guys me decorating the apartment yet. I'll do like a before and after apartment refresh type of video if you guys wanna see that. So if you wanna see that, make sure to comment below and let me know that you wanna see it. And I will gladly do that for you once everything is all set up. It is New Year's Eve, so I'm gonna go get Jack-Jack and we're going to start our celebration. So that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed coming shopping with me today, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you liked it. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe on your way out if you've waited all the way to the end of the video. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every single one of you who come in and watch my videos. I really, really do. And I will catch all of you next time in the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.